Okay, I got one more thing. It's Miss Mocha. I'm coming back because I do want to talk about low vibing and high vibing. So low vibing is, you know, like ungodly things like you smoking uh, and this is I ain't talking about like smoking or drinking because you know I used to do both and I was still not low vibing I would say low vibing is when you're abusing alcohol or abusing um, drugs which is weed for me I don't do no other type of drugs I don't even smoke weed no more but when I was I was still vibing high because I wasn't abusing it or abusing alcohol so if you're abusing drugs abusing alcohol abusing anything or if you have wicked thoughts wicked intentions things that are not of god where you're fighting drama being toxic being on some um you know childish things playing mind games with people stealing all that type of stuff is low vibing High vibing is when you're more into who you are as a man or who you are as a woman. Um, putting God first, reading the Bible, reading scripture. If you attend church, attending church, um, Bible study, or if you're eating healthy, um, drinking water, doing positive things for your body, doing positive things to feed your mind, reading, exercising, um, doing positive things to feed your spirit, feed your mind, body, and your spirit. That's vibing high. Um, having patience more with people instead of nutting up or snapping on people. Um, being meek and gentle instead of aggressive or mean spirited or um you know cussing people out that is high vibing to me helping people going out your way to do kindness kind acts for people that's high vibe and that's what i'm on and there's a lot of people that's low vibing that maybe they don't even know that they low vibing but you are when you low vibing you get more and more disconnected from god like it's crazy because people don't talk about this enough because I know when I was low vibing and I was getting disconnected from God, no one was telling me that that was happening. You know, of course you're around the people that are low vibing too. So everybody just low vibing and no one's telling y'all or helping y'all to know or realize that you're getting disconnected with God. So I'm here to help people realize that they're um, you know, vibing low or that they're not vibing how God wants them to be, which is higher. So if you cut out all these behaviors, these toxic traits, these bad ways, these bad habits, these addictions, these obsessions, you know, the cruelty, the wicked heart, the wicked mind, then you'll be able to connect with God more and vibe higher. Then if you start fasting, if you start praying more, setting time to pray maybe first thing in the morning or last thing before you go to bed, and I'm talking hands and knees pray, um, if you just give time to practice stretching your body or deep breathing or trying to um, be at peace by calming yourself or realizing that you're upset and not using words or violence to take it out on someone else um maybe changing the way you eat that's a real big thing for me i've been on that journey trying to change the way i would eat so now i'm um you know i got off my fast got on did a diet got off the diet so now i'm back on trying to make it stick and make it permanent because you know, they don't talk about it enough, but the things that we eat, things that we put into our body affect our body. The foods have a lot of effect on our body. So does drinking. So does what we drink. And so um, I just want to say drinking excessive alcohol. Drinking alcohol, period, is not good for your body. But I'm not going to say don't drink alcohol and I drink it. You know, I'd be a hypocrite. But I will say I know the dangers of drinking alcohol. That's why I don't abuse it or drink it too much. You know, I try to like socially drink 
um, until I'm at the point where I can cut it off completely. But right now, um, you know, I'm doing what I can for my body. And I suggest people do what they can for their body so that they can vibe high. Because foods that we eat, the people that we're around, the things that we do, the behaviors, all of that has effect on our uh, an effect on our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. And so, if we're low vibing or around negative people, doing negative things, putting negative things in our body, unhealthy things in our body, around having unhealthy relationships, that we're disconnecting from God. That's what we're doing. So we need to try to stay connected with God. And the only way to do that is to stay in his word, to um, make sure that we are having healthy behaviors, making sure that we're around people with healthy behaviors. Because you can't, you know, try to change and stop smoking weed and you're around a bunch of weed heads. That's not going to work. You got to remove yourself from the toxicity, remove yourself from the um, negative people, negative behaviors, negative situations, negative relationships, so that you can hear from God, listen to God, vibe higher, be on a different path of righteousness. That's what it's all about, being righteous versus unrighteous, being of God versus being ungodly or being, you know, with the enemy, with the devil. So you don't want to get caught lacking with the devil. It's not cute. I know the world might glamorize it like it's cute. Glamorize guns and shooting and wars and food, bad unhealthy food and, you know, fighting and sex and bodies and all that shit look cute. But it's not. It's not God is shaking his head at all this stuff that's going on that everybody glamorizes to be so cute. It's not godly. It's not cute. Please cover up. Eat some better food. Stop drinking so much. Stop doing so much drugs. Stop fighting. Stop stealing. Stop lying. Stop cheating. Stop doing these negative things. Stop, you know abusing people or abusing women or abusing men or abusing kids you know sexually mentally physically whatever that stuff is not of God it's shameful we should not be doing these shameful things we should be on the right track with God being righteous loving each other uplifting each other eating healthy meals, taking care of our bodies, taking care of our minds, our spirits, taking care of each other, taking care of our babies, taking care of our men, taking care of our women, taking care of each other, looking out for each other, um, not fighting, loving each other. You know, it's, it sounds foreign because black people especially don't look out for each other. you rather shoot your man or you rather shoot your girl than hug her or hug him or give him a high five a pound whatever you do you rather be fighting instead of complimenting you rather be smoking and drinking instead of eating a baked meal like what the hell is wrong with us you know and it was me too I didn't I wasn't that far gone but I had negative behaviors and traits and stuff I had to let go God really worked in me and I want to share this with people how you need to let go of that wrong stuff we're doing like it don't make no sense that my kids have to hear gunshots you know like who is shooting what you shooting for at six o'clock in the morning on a Sunday cut it out and it ain't nobody but some black people because we the most racist damaged you know and it's like y'all y'all find it so easy to keep robbing stealing shooting going to jail writing forged checks and getting illegal money and stuff that you you don't even know what right is anymore working a job going to school you know, having your kids be proud of you for bringing home food for them, taking care of the kids, making sure they got a home, a car to get to where they need to go, doctor appointments, dentist appointments. Like, what has this world come to? It makes no sense to me, man. It makes no sense. But I'm trying to help get it back to a state of God where all this ugliness 
can be pushed out and we can start being beautiful again because it's not beautiful right now. It's sad right now. It's sick right now. It's at the point where I don't even know why God even let us continue living the way we live in. And I ain't even the ones out here doing the, the ill living. But I say we because we all his children. Man, it's so crazy. It's so, 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 so crazy. But I just want to say that to, to encourage people to start vibing high. I know it's easy to vibe low. It's harder to vibe high. It's hard to walk away from what you've been always doing. But you will get to a better place especially with God once you do so yeah that's all I want to say all right I'm done teaching and preaching tonight I'm gonna um go pick up my son from work and get them some food going but I just want to say like if there's one person that I can reach to take that extra step to vibe high to let go of their addictions let go of their obsessions let go of what they want and think about what God wants for them God didn't just create you to be um out here on the streets or be shooting people or be in a gang or be stealing or be killing or be you know eating bad and be drinking obsessively and be on prescription drugs and be on street drugs and all this and this and that god did not say do that he did not create you to be a deadbeat parent or be abusing kids or be abusing your partner he did not create you to steal kill and destroy that's the devil that's the enemy that is the enemy but we don't see it because we so used to it Get out of the comfort zone. Get out of what you're used to and try doing something different. Doing something that's right. Take a step, just a baby step to where you see someone crossing the street. Help an old lady cross the street. Jeez. Help pay for somebody's groceries. Help do something for someone. Man. You see a single mom, help her help someone like me don't laugh at me don't down talk me don't belittle me don't try to hinder me even more help me you see some kids playing at a basketball game or at a park watch over them pray over them so no one hurts them or harms them if you a bus driver and you driving kids for a living make sure you get them kids to where they need to go without nothing happening if you a teacher, have some peace. Dang, think about the kids. Maybe it's hard for them to learn. It's going to be harder if you nutting up on them. Have some peace with kids. Teach them something different. Maybe they dealing with battles in their home, so they come out to school acting out and all kind of behaviors. Don't be another battle for the kid. Help the kid. Be patient with the kid. Try to understand the kid. Give the kid some love. My goodness, is it hard for us to just love somebody? Is it hard to show love to the next person? You ain't got to know them. You don't have to know someone to show them love, to love them as a human being, as a person that was created from God. You don't have to know them to love them try love first man if people did that in the world it wouldn't be so cruel like it is we wouldn't have all this negative stuff going on if people use love first instead of hate but all right that's all i want to say because it's getting hot but i know i'm on to something because god wouldn't be sitting here having me talk like this because man people be tripping especially in this state Illinois is uh, whew. but you know what I ain't gonna just single out Illinois it's 50 states in this little America and it's all kind of ghettos and poor spots and rich spots and what whatever but where is the love in all these spots you gotta push out love hopefully I can be that for people hopefully I'm pushing out a love, enough love where I could touch somebody 
So, alright, that's it. That's all. I promise. I'm done. Thank you for listening.